Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rush2211, and this Windows 7 tutorial today I'll be showing you how to make IE7 through 9 faster than ever. Um, there's many different ways you can actually make um, Internet Explorer faster, but this is the most efficient way, and this is the way that I've used it for many different years. I've used this method back in IE8 and also tested it in IE9, and IE9 has been surprisingly faster. Okay. Um, first menu. In the link in, in the description, I provided um, both of the codes you need to enter to actually get the, everything. So, okay. First menu. You want to go to your start menu. I know I have a cool new theme I got. It's called the Red Fusion theme. You can get it online if they don't make a tutorial. I, I can get this thing. First menu is you want to go into Run. Just type in. Run, and then once the run command comes up, you want to enter reg edit, which stands for the registry edit. Enter it, and then here you will see the registry editor. It shows you everything that's on your computer and everything that's previously been on your computer. First thing you want to do is you will find the H key current user file, expand that file tree, and then let's go down to software. Expand the software tab. I'm going a little slow here, I can go a lot faster, but some of you guys are new to this. Let's, then let's go down to Windows. Actually, no. No, we need to go to the Microsoft, expand the Microsoft tab. Now let's go to down to Windows. And expand <coughs> the Windows tab. Let's go to current version, expand current version. Now let's go to Internet Settings. This is the Internet Settings for Internet Explorer. Click. I already have both of my values saved as max connections per server, so hey, you know, I'll just erase them. I'll show you guys now. First thing you want to do is you want to create a new D word 32 bit value. And just to let you know, it doesn't matter even if you have a 64 bit computer, it still has to be a D word 32 bit value. No matter what. See, so D word 32 bit value. First, I'm going to go and I'm going to open up a file where I have my code saved. Let's go into my hack that's here. Um, sh sh okay. As you can see, here are my codes. Um, the first code here it will be called max connections per server. Just go ahead, copy. And then create the new D word 32 by value, and then just backspace that, and then let's enter the value. Double click enter, and then right here you will get the D word 32 bit value key chain. You want to make it a decimal base value, and then the highest you can go is 99. Just let you know, some people have typed in 1000, probably 500. It's not going to work. It's just Internet Explorer cannot take that because it's that it's not you know that built of an operating system yet for a browser. <laughs> So, the highest you can make it is 99. Click enter. Um, the next one, just repeat the same process. Just go copy the second code. Copy. And make a new, new D word 32 bit value. Paste that. Enter. Hexadecimal value. <coughs> it's going to be 99 once again. And obviously, as we see here, you can find the max connections per server and max connections per O1 server. Okay. Let's go ahead and exit out the registry editor. And now, the second op the second one we want to do is let's go back to the run command once again in our start menu. Let's type in CMD to open up our Windows command processor. Um, this will not mess anything up. Don't get scared. So, in the second part um, of the description box, it will be a second code. The second code is an actual command processor code that tweaks and explore slightly and speeds up your connection time. It's I it stands abbreviated for Red Server Active Proxel DLL. Just go ahead and copy and paste that code into the command processor. Click paste. 
paste my password. And obviously, as you can see, it says DLL Rich Server has been succeeded. Click OK, and then go ahead and exit out of that. Now, <coughs> let's just, once you have applied all these options, just go ahead and restart your computer, and then your Internet Explorer should be quite faster, and um, your browsing speed should be a lot more efficient. That's still that's if you still use Internet Explorer. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Rush Eats Two One One. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave me a message. Alright, later.